Approximately 200,000 of the Drosophila species, more commonly known as fruit flies, inhabit this small lab inside Ohio University's Life Science Research Facility. The flies are the subjects of a study being done by Dr. Soichi Tanda, the Associate Professor of the Biological Sciences Department. The fruit flies are being used to develop possible treatments for leukemia and other cancers. Why fruit flies? First of all, fruit fly Drosophila is very similar to the human beings. The most of those genes has human counterpart. In other words, human, humans have similar gene so that by understanding all the interactions then we'd like to find the target molecules to come up with the cure or better treatment of the human leukemia. In Dr. Tanda's lab, the minuscule flies are bred to carry traits similar to those found in humans with cancer so new treatment methods may be discovered. Drosophila has a suitable for genetic studies. In other words, we have a lot of mutation of many different genes. We can combine one or two mutations into one single fly to see how the symptom worsens, which allow us to infer how the, those two genes work together. When the relationship between genes is found, Tanda hopes to provide the information to drug companies that can develop medicine to treat the symptoms of leukemia. Hopefully we can provide a list of the target, potential target genes so that other people in the, in the medical field or pharmaceutical companies may can work on those. Medicine to remedy leukemia symptoms is hopefully only the beginning of the results of Tanda's project. The first step is to treat the patient, to give them a longer, you know, life. The cure, that's a very tricky word. Cure means eliminate everything, so we may not be able to do that, but still, the uh, patient can have extended life, hopefully years, not a month.